My name is Michelle Heipel. I work at the Australian Institute of Marine Science. And the focus of my work is studying the movement patterns of marine predators, particularly sharks and large fish, to understand where they go, how much time they spend in areas, and what that means for our ability to manage and conserve their populations. IMOS has provided us with a series of acoustic receivers that are deployed at various positions around the Australian coastline. One of the species we've been working on in the IMOS program is looking at the movements of medium to large sized bull sharks. We go in and fit a transmitter on the sharks that these receivers can hear and record and we can then retrace the movements of these animals as they pass by and through these receiver networks. There was a group that was tagging these animals in New South Wales there was also my group who was tagging bull sharks in the central Great Barrier Reef. And what we started to find was that our animals were moving these distances between these two studies. So the animals in New South Wales were repeatedly being detected on acoustic receiver arrays in the central and southern Great Barrier Reef. And they were coming up to these areas repeatedly. Some of the animals came as many as five times over a couple of years. This has been really amazing because we know bull sharks can swim long distances. They're big animals, they can travel far. But what we didn't know is that animals that are using our inshore coastal systems like Sydney Harbor are actually spending time on the Great Barrier Reef and reliably going there and using that habitat. We don't normally think of bull sharks as reef species. So to know that these sharks are spending large amount of time on the Great Barrier Reef is really novel and interesting. Understanding marine animal movements is really crucial and it's becoming more and more crucial as we continue to use and adapt our ocean systems. One of the main management tools that we apply, particularly in the Great Barrier Reef, is a marine protected area. So we have the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park, which is zoned to leave areas open to fishing for public and commercial activities, but also areas that are closed to fishing. And the intention of that is that we have a multi-use system that will protect populations within that area. That works well for things that don't move very far. So things that are attached to a single reef, a marine protected area will be really effective, or similarly, a single bay. But when we're talking about animals that can move large distances, like large fish and, and sharks, those types of approaches are only going to be partially effective because the animals will swim in and out of the areas that are closed, meaning that they are exposed to fishing and other pressures as soon as they leave those areas. We need to understand where they are so that we can decide what management tools will be best to help make sure that we have healthy populations of not just sharks, but um, whales and dolphins and, and large fish, you know, understanding where these animals use space and how long they stay there is really important to how effective we can be in managing them.